Bob Marley was able to universalize yeah. his his experiences and all of us can relate to being rejected, mm -hmm. to being hurt, to being unloved. Everyone in this room, we may not have grown up in Cheltenham and been told go home nigger, but you were told something somewhere, um, you know, and we can relate to those human feelings which he was very passionate about, um, I think, challenging and champion, mm -hmm. championing justice for, for all human beings and he knew what it was like to hurt and to be lonely and to be unsure mm -hmm. and I think those are the things that make this universal. I remember going to um, um, Egypt when I had my locks you know, and uh, with everybody just run up to me, Bob Marley, I can tell you when I put my first, first Bob Marley album in 19 whatever and this, you know, people were charting their lives mm -hmm. through the world and this was in Egypt mm -hmm. and in fact on the river now there's a, a, an, an island, they call it Reggae Island yes. and a man just plays Bob Marley all day, all day and I was like, oh my goodness me, it's like a cult of Bob Marley mm -hmm. but of course the impact of the music of revolution and, and, and standing up for humanity, that goes way beyond the borders of the small town in Nine Miles, where he came, comes from in, in St. Anne. I think that's what's so important, that one person's life can be bigger than the, 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 the place where you're from. Yeah. You can reach out and touch people if you're willing to stand up and have the integrity and the courage mm. that Bob Marley showed, and the diligence. Mm. Two years of diligence, mm. the, the hard work, the humanity and humility mm. that it takes to succeed. Mm. Those are the things that I'll take away.